morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning guys, it is Saturday. Just finished working out. I had a great workout this morning. Um, I did my cardio, my sprints, and then I had Taz put me through like a, an arm slash circuit workout, and it was fantastic. I'm gonna play it here so you guys can see what I did. Um, I basically did EMOMs, which is each minute on the minute. enjoyed that little workout now <laughs> while Taz finishes up with work I came across the street to Starbucks to do some work I do have a couple clients that just signed up with me so I have to send out their programs now and um, start getting ready for the challenge stuff so if you guys are interested in joining the challenge my glasses keep sliding if you guys are interested in joining my summer challenge uh, make sure to click on the link in the description box below so you guys know all the information everything that's included and you get to sign up spots are filling up rather quickly this time around so if you do want to join make sure you do that ASAP we start July 3rd so almost a little over three weeks or so four weeks okay so yeah today's very exciting because I am going to a gym here or Taz and I are going to a gym here um, in Dover and they have a bod pod and another machine that tests your I think metabolic capacity I think not so sure do not quote me but I'm actually gonna go get that done and I thought it would be really cool to have that at the beginning ish of my reverse diet phase and then again maybe in the middle and then at the end these glasses are getting really annoying. I'm gonna walk you guys through that. I figured I'd do it now because nothing really changed from last week. I keep going up and down in weight this week and I also got my period yesterday. So that might have a little bit of, of a variance because of that, but I'm not gonna be too worried. I'm excited to show you guys and show you guys like the beginning of my reverse. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna step into Starbucks real quick, do some work, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Clearly, we came to Walmart, did the groceries. I will take you guys through everything we got when we get home. But first, I'm really excited about two things that we got. First, these caramel M&Ms. Heard they're fantastic. And, 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 we found the Jelly Donut Oreos. High carb day for the win, guys. High carb day for the win. Now, we are gonna go to the gym in Dover to get those tests done and then go home. So, we'll see you there. Hi, watch. This is the Bellaton. So exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put the calibration volume in. Wow. So, there are three different tests, each 45 seconds each. Wow. Let's get shit. I know. Go ahead and step on the scale. Try to remain as still as you can while you're in there. Try to also breathe as normal as you can. No, Do you? Saying. You're not claustrophobic, are you? I mean, no, I'm not. Okay. okay. There's an emergency button underneath your left knee, just in case. All right, ready? I'm ready. First round. It's scaring me. First test. First test is what? Uh, they're 40 seconds each, so they'll run it three times. It takes the average of three. Got it. Not too shabby. The blood pod doesn't account for um, 
subcutaneous and visceral fat. It's only just collective total fat in the body. So this usually the average is about two to three percent that you need to subtract from this to uh, arrive at your subcutaneous body fat, which is usually the measurement they use for fitness shows. Lean body weight one thirty two point eight. I was one fifty seven this morning. One fifty five this morning. I drank a lot of water today. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Sweet. There you have it. Look at that. Quick All and painless. Right. Let's see what happens in six months or so. Let's try this. Turn this over. Typical, it's usually a little higher, go ahead. 19.56. Hmm. Any calibers? Mm-hmm. Some Pollock 3, 19.56. Oh, this is on the 3 site. I suspect that the 7 is going to be more accurate for you. Yeah, because that was the tricep, the Berliac, mm -hmm. and then what was the other one? Oh, for the 3? Oh, the thigh. Very common. And that's yeah, the tricep, thigh. Tricep, tricep is where I hold. That's all where I hold all my fat. That's better. Sixteen point sixty-seven. Okay, so there are your stats. Sweet. Interesting combination. <laughs> my guess is that this number and the bod pod number mm -hmm. is somewhere right smack in the middle of those two. All the way up. Straighten your arms. <laughs> So I'm looking at the angle of her upper arm to her body, looking for a minimum of 170 degrees. It looks like you have it to me, but the first thing I notice is that you softened your elbows mm -hmm. to get there. Go up a little bit higher. See, I feel like my shoulders need to like be adjusted. See? You can ah, that. okay. No, it's fine. From this angle, it appears that there's a slight anterior roll there, like she's fighting against it. But to, at first glance, it appears she has the mobility overhead, but I think there's something hiding there. All right, go ahead and try and touch the opposite scapula with one arm. Relax your left shoulder. All the way. Okay. <laughs> it's not bad. I like to see a vertical angle here. It's not quite there, but it's not bad. Other side. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, you've got something hiding in the scapula. All right, relax. Put your right arm on the small of your back. You know what that is, right? Winging. Yeah. Can you do it without it? Are you no. scapular wing or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> <laughs> that was my first joke back in the day. <laughs> Am I supposed to control that? Yeah. I, I, there's no way. I, I don't know how to. Okay. Try, try and okay. bring your arm by your side. So when you go there, try and... You can go blade foot if you want. As long as the toe faces the ceiling. Got it. Oh, okay. Five that feels better on my adductor though. Yeah. And what okay, is just mean? leaving now um, Phoenix Fitness here in Dover. We did a lot. We did a lot. <laughs> we did, he was so kind that he did all three tests for me, uh, which you guys saw. And the bod pod, it said that I was 15.5 uh, body fat and 157.1 pounds and 132.8 lean muscle. Then he went ahead and he did two other tests. So he did the um, the one that you hold in front of you and that one was 22.1%. And then he did the skin fold measurements which you guys saw also. And the average of that came out to, where is it? 16.67. So as you can tell, there's much variance or there's a little bit of variance between each um, test that we did he said to assume between um, the average of the bod pod and the seven site skin fold so I'm probably around 16% body fat which I'm very happy about um, I weighed in this morning at my house at 155 and then on his scale 157 so I was fasted and but I did drink a lot of water um, there was another test that I wanted to do, the metabolic, but I can't drink water or eat, so I have to do that another time. So that's, that's, that's all that's happening. Um, very happy with the results, and this is going to be a great way for me to track my progress with this reverse diet. I might do it maybe in three months, 
and then again at the end of the six months. I'm excited to see if we can put on some size. That's not my main focus, but I am gonna try to be lifting as heavy as possible. And um, obviously eat tons more and not put on too much body fat. <laughs> Sound good to you, babe? Sounds great, let's do it. Let's do it. But then, I wanted to let you guys know that after that, we started playing around. We, he did some mobility tests on me because we started talking and then he was like, do you mind if I do this? Do you mind if I do that? And then, so then we started doing handstands and stretches and it was just like kids in a playground. But that's it. If you guys live in the area or you're ever in New Hampshire and you want to get a bod pod test done, um, make sure to hit them up, phoenixfitness.com, I believe it is, but everything will be in the description box below. Um, and now, it's two o'clock, 2.10. And we're starving. We so haven't had anything I, to eat. Nothing. Nothing. Just coffee. That's it. I mean, I'm the, I'm not starving. I could no. eat, but I don't feel. I was like, like preoccupied. So yeah. I'm like, I'm yeah. Not yeah. About it. yeah. Um, I'm, I'm definitely gonna eat a lot since I haven't eaten anything. Definitely. Yet. And it's high carb day, and we have those jelly donut Oreos waiting for us, and the caramel M&Ms. They're probably melted. They're probably. Oh shit. Oh well. All right. Agenda when we get home, I'm gonna show you guys the groceries and then eat. We just got home. Here are the groceries. A lot of the essentials and then just a lot of the essentials. So, chicken breast. Sugar-free oatmeal. For those low carb days, I got the rice, vegetables, the cauliflower medley and ooh, just regular cauliflower. Some tomatoes, some a zucchini, we're gonna grill, right? We're grilling. And then they didn't have my regular granola. I'm so mad. So I'm trying this one instead. Then we found this new cucumber ranch. Sounds really good. Then we got 2% shredded cheese for the quesadillas. Fat free cheddar. A highly anticipated jelly donut Oreo. Peanut butter. Oh, Peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Um, honey wheat, no. nature's own bread. Then I got cacao. I have the special dark, but I wanted just regular. And then bananas for them to go bad. More wraps. Greek yogurt. Cashew milk. Lettuce. And uh, ground turkey 93.7. Some whipped cream. Some grape jelly. Some chili for Taylor. Egg whites, and then the sugar-free Italian cheese. No, this is my favorite. And that was it. A lot of stuff because we had nothing. Now we're gonna figure out what we're gonna eat. Chicken on the grill with eggplant, right? Eggplant. Chicken on the grill. Eggplant and zucchini. And then Oreos and M&Ms. M&Ms! Because balance. Oh, well, we're doing it right now. All right, we're gonna try it right now. I'm gonna do one. I'll put it in chocolate, coat it in it. Oh. Crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. So you have to take the crunchy coating off first, then suck the chocolate off. You good? <laughs> That's dangerous. That is delicious. I'm so glad they're up there though. Maybe two more. All right, let's get some lunch. Breakfast, lunch, everything. Okay. We just finished having, well, he had turkey burgers, I had chicken and veggies. I'll insert here, but um, now it's time for dessert. Gonna try the jelly donut Oreos. Well, we gotta open them to show you guys what it looks like inside. Oh my gosh, smell that. Mm -hmm. I smell that. So it's got a jelly filling. All right, let's try this, ready? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I just got it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That feels good. Mm-hmm. 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 We also have these ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are the new Oreo Thins. Really good, too. Not so much. Like, it's not a, a blast of coconut, which is what I like. It's nice, subtle. Next, I gotta find the caramel ones. But now, we are gonna go watch Baywatch. We saw Wonder Woman yesterday. Baywatch today. That's probably what's gonna happen. See you guys later. The next day. 
What's up guys? Last thing we I vlogged was yesterday before we went to the movies. Baywatch is hilarious. Really funny. Um, and now it's Sunday and it's now 1.15 and we went to church, went to visit a friend of his at his <laughs> place of work, like he likes to say. And then now, Taz and I came to get some food before we go to the shooting range. We came to get some Fridays. Um, and yeah, so that's what we're doing right now. Yeah, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. So hangry. I had like three egg whites this morning. And it's like 91 degrees here. <laughs> here is what I ordered. It's Mediterranean naan with shrimp, I think. It's the lowest calorie food item on the menu. And I got it with side salad. And got a turkey burger and fries. We are firing some guns today. We're here at Manchester Firing Line Range. You can kind of hear guns going off inside right now. Um, but I don't think I told you guys this. How long ago? Two weeks now, maybe? Two weeks ago, I <laughs> pulled the trigger on buying a handgun. I <laughs> get it? Uh, and so uh, I want to get Yami more comfortable with them. And so she agreed to come to the range and use it. So we're going to head in there. I'm not exactly sure on the policy of like filming or anything. I'm, I think we can. We're gonna head in and shoot, shoot some guns. Aiming for the right seven. So there's our target. Tad, so Tad. I first shot for this. This was my spread at first. This was at 20 feet, and then Yami went for the top one. Mm -hmm. Her first spread was literally this right here. I was so impressed, right there. And then we went out to 30 feet, and this was me right there, and then that's Yami right there. <laughs> so I'd say we're doing pretty good. From further <laughs> I can't really tell how loud I'm talking because I have bees on, but. Either way, you guys can hear me. And I hope. this is gonna go on my channel too, so sorry that, you know, it's not me talking. But we just You're figured, talking right now. You don't know what I mean. <laughs> figured we'd have one camera with all these things in there. A lot of things. So we are now gonna switch targets. And then use up. Now going first, I'm gonna go for the middle. Yeah, she's in middle, she's going. We're probably gonna put it at 20 feet again. 30? Maybe so I was going for the this part here and then I got bored well I did this by mistake and then I got bored and I was like if someone were to fuck with me what would I hit him? <laughs> so I was aiming for the head. That's it. Now where am I gonna aim? Where do you wanna aim? You wanna I'll aim? aim right yeah. There. Seven. I'm gonna aim right there. That was my target. <laughs> Had a few rogue. But this is look at this. Stuff. You hit the Yeah, I had a couple like back to back in here, which is good. Yeah. Definitely got to tighten it up though. Got to be like a, a four inch spread. Like this? Like Yami? <laughs> so now that we've shot, just plain shot a little bit, what we're going to do is practicing, uh, what we're going to do is practice unholstering the weapon and All right, you ready? She's up first. So babe, oh my god, there's a bad guy. <laughs> There's no ammo in this, by the way. There's oh, no right. That's just, it's a dummy bag. Nothing in it. All right, there it is. Here's our final target. So we started. Yami started there, started there, and then went to there, mm. and then I was there, 
And then what were you aiming for when I you did were holstering? Actually, the head, the head, and then I got for the neck. Got it. What's up guys? So we are now at Starbucks and I'm gonna close up the vlog right here but first I wanted to kind of give you guys my starting measurements. Nothing has really changed since I started so I just wanna let you all know um, what my measurements are. It's just so that we can compare at the end or maybe like towards the middle and then again at the end. So um, my starting weight with Lane was 153.4 and then I went to Boise, gained a couple pounds um, and then I went back down to 153, but now I'm back up, so it's trending up. Um, my waist measurement was 28.5, and um, my body fat, like you guys saw, said 19.8 on my scale, but it's at 15.5 on the bod pod. So we're gonna go with those two. I'm excited to see how this progresses, and um, this past week I've been going up and down, up and down, so I've been um, when I got back from Boise, I was 157, then I went down to 153 in one day, and then I went up to 155, then 154, 155, and then I've just been playing with that one pound this entire week. So I'm curious to see what Lane will do this this coming check-in. I have a feeling he'll keep it the same because a couple of different factors on, on my period, and um, it's been steady. So that's what's happening, and sorry, I'm looking at my notes to make sure I don't have that I'm missing anything. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you guys have any specific requests for me to cover during this reverse diet. Um, if he does change anything, I will update you guys on my videos, on my next videos. And um, I will be doing a lot of full days of eating, low carb, high carb, and a lot of recipes. So stay tuned for that. Sorry that this vlog was kind of all over the place. I was taking a, a break from editing and posting this weekend just because my body asked for it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one.